Stacy's husband is away for a while for work. What could possibly go wrong? While doing tasks around the house, she occasionally notices some strange things. She constantly feels like someone's watching her. Holy shit, is that a flashlight? God damn, that's a chunky ass flashlight. That's all the light I get? Where did I get this from, bro? The dollar store? Nah, I must have the flashlight from here. Shop, chain of stores? Nah, bro, this is as generic as it gets, bro. Milk, chips, beer, cold, Coca-Cola, cold, cheese, ketchup, canister, gasoline, frozen pancakes, and sugar. But the red one is spicy, and I like spicy. So anyway, blue or red, I came to the second store and even in it the chips are in different packages. Why do they do it? Why can T they put a white box with a big sign chips? Why make it so complicated? Well, the blue one looks tasty, but the red one is spicy. Okay, that bro is tweaking, bro. I'm in the wrong side of town. It was bugging hard. I need some milk. Hey, where the hell the milk at, bro? Bro, where is your milk? If you're ghost shopping in a gas station, bro, you need to reevaluate your life, bro. Something's wrong. You should not be grocery shopping in a fucking gas station, bro. Yo, what even is that, bro? A triangle of cheese? Why does bro not specify that the milk should be cold? It should be. I don't want fucking hot milk, bro. Where the fuck is the milk? What the fuck? Why shouldn't it be in the area with the other drinks? What the fuck? Who stores their milk room temperature, bro? Hello, welcome to the shop chain of stores. How can I help you? Bro has been smoking his entire life. Hello, here are my products. I'm not talking like that. Okay. Oh, fucking alien. That'll be nine dollars. Okay. Goodbye. Nine dollars. Maybe I was wrong, bro. Where are they shopping at? I need to be shopping here. Jesus Christ, bro. All that for nine dollars? Yeah, it's got a crackhead in the corner, but shit, bro. Nine dollars. Nigga, you better close your garage. What the fuck? Nah, that's how you know bro is not built for this life. Bro didn't even close the garage or nothing. Bro, install some lights in the front of your house so you can fucking see, nigga. Close your curtains, bro. Throw your fucking trash out. Why do, why, why do I always play these games as like the most unaware, dirtiest motherfuckers around, bro? Why can't I just play as like a normal person, bro? Why gotta play these dirty ass fucking mongrels that don't wipe their booty, bro? Why can't I play as a... Uh, a Willie D fan, bro. I know damn well that y'all leads up your ass, right? Right? Since I'm away for two weeks for work, if it's not too much trouble, do a couple tasks. Love you. Take out the trash. Mop the floor in the upstairs bathroom. Buy products. No, if you microwave your pizza, you're a fucking psychopath, bro. No, you put that shit in the oven. Why do I need to put on clean clothes? Am I dirty? What am, what am I dirty from? The fuck? All I do is go to the store and it's nighttime. Why am I putting on clean clothes? I love eating pizza on the couch. This nigga put his whole hands on this hot ass pizza. Now he's gonna eat that shit barehanded on his couch without even having a dinner table. He's gonna fucking rip it apart in his lap. Why do I always play as these fucking psychopaths, bro? This nigga is not normal. Nigga, do you not hear that rustling? You feel gonna get your ass up and turn around? Bro, there is someone going down your stairs right now, bro. Get up and face him, bro. Get up and press him immediately. But now I hear that nigga just coming down them stairs. Loud as fuck, bro. Nah, you weren't, you weren't made to survive, bro. I don't know why they be doing that, bro. They hear a sound, they just be ignoring it, bro. And nigga, if you don't get up and knock his block off, bro, like, what are you doing? This is your house. Why, why do you have trash all over your house? What? Oh, oh my god, but why is there a whole ass full 13 gallon black hefty trash bag with flies flying around it in your room? Bro. Get a peephole, get a, get a ring camera, nigga, get something, nigga, like, bro is, bro is setting himself up for failure, bro. Help me, please. Who's that? I need help. 
If you need medical attention, there's St. Patrick's Hospital a few blocks away. Will you help me or not? No. You can get your ass somewhere else, nigga. Leroy called the police. Get your ass out of here, bro. Oh my god! Why am I just sitting here? Nigga, run! Run, bitch! Why am I walking? Why am I walking, bro? Oh my god. I, I am in a concrete prison, bro. This is not a closet. God damn, that is some quick ass response time. Where do I live? The suburbs? About six years ago, I was watched for two weeks by serial maniacs who worked together. After they noticed that my husband was away at work, they immediately started trying to lure me out of the house. Although strangely, one of them quietly broke down my door and could have strangled me or done something to me, but instead he hid under the bed upstairs. Now I don't know their fate, but I was miraculously lucky that my neighbor nearby was watching the whole time, who was walking his dog and called the police. As I remember now, I was pulled out of my own closet in tears, Stacy. See, this is exactly why you keep a blick in that house, bro. Trust me, trust me. If bro bust down that door, and you ha you were sitting right there on the other side of that door with a five seven in your hand, he would not have been fucking with you, cause he would have been in hell, bro. Moral of the story: Have your arsenal ready. Niggas out here want what you got, so you gotta show them what you got. 